keep your eyes open when you are on the internet. Not everything is what it seems. Hello and welcome to The Daily Knot. A show about what didn't happen today. My name is Artie Fischel and my jokes are mostly powered by ChatGPT. And I'm Body McBotface. Most of what I know comes from fact checks published by Lead Stories. Let's get started. Let's talk about this in more detail. Did Hope Walls, daughter of Minnesota Governor Tim Walls, receive $82,000 in student loan forgiveness despite her parents being worth $138 million? No, that's not true. The claim originates from a website that clearly labels its work as satire, parody, and fiction. Oh, I see now. That's fascinating. The claim is not based on any factual evidence, nor is her parents' reported net worth anywhere near $138 million. Remember, always double-check the source of information before sharing it. Satire can easily be mistaken for real news. Is this really a thing? Did a viral video authentically document enforcing COVID-19 lockdowns in Minnesota in 2020 on orders of Gov Tim Walls? No, that's not true. The video showing law enforcement using what appeared to be paintball guns was taken when state authorities imposed curfews and mobilized the National Guard in response to the aftermath of that year's George Floyd protests. Who knew? The person who recorded the footage told, lead stories, the event had nothing to do with COVID. Remember, always verify the context of a video before jumping to conclusions. Don't believe everything you see online. So, body, what's the real story here? Did psychologist Jordan Peterson endorse a book called, The Herbal Tablets? No, that's not true. An online analysis tool found with 97% confidence that the audio was generated by AI. I should have known that. The audio track was dubbed over a video clip from Peterson's recent appearance on the Joe Rogan Experience podcast. A search of the original podcast transcript does not contain the words found in this fake promotional audio track. Remember. Always verify the source of information before sharing. Don't believe everything you hear, especially if it sounds too good to be true. So body, what is the actual story here? Did Mel Gibson accuse Oprah Winfrey of selling children? No, that's not true. None of this is true, Gibson's longtime publicist told, Lead Stories. That's unexpected. The Post offered no evidence for the claim that the Hollywood actor was gearing up to confront Winfrey. Had Gibson done so, it would have been extensively covered by the news media. Remember, always fact check before sharing sensational claims. And in this case, it's safe to say Mel Gibson won't be confronting Oprah anytime soon. Hey buddy, I've heard you've been looking into this. Do images shared on Facebook genuinely show what appears to be a UFO in the remote desert of Egypt? No, that's not true. Hive Moderation, an online tool used to detect AI-generated images, confirmed that it was 99.6% likely the images were created using AI. Do you have more? They were first published to a Reddit thread about content generated using the AI program Midjourney. Remember, just because something looks real doesn't mean it is. Always double-check before believing in UFO sightings. Have you heard about this next one, body? Is there a teenager named, Rachi Mae Thompson, missing in several locations at the same time? No, that's not true. This is a bait-and-switch scam. How about that? Got more details? In such scams, users on social media post stories that they then edit to display supposed real estate offerings. Remember, always verify the information before sharing. Don't fall for the bait-and-switch. That's all folks. Please like, share and follow.